Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data scientist or a data analyst, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, MLU Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining the, all the various questions asked for SQL interview round in various companies. The questions which are asked in the companies are available in the lead code platform and I will be explaining them. All my code solutions for the questions available in lead code platform are there in my github repository. The link for that is available in the chart description below and also I have segregated the channel into five playlists which are easy, medium and hard depending upon the difficulty of the question. The premium subscription questions of lead code as premium playlist questions and all the questions combined into one single playlist as all SQL ordered by sequence number and let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today. It is type medium question number 3228 uses with two purchases within the seven days. Let's see the question in lead code. Okay. It is asked in Amazon for entry level. They are given a purchases column purchases table which is consisting of purchase ID, user ID, purchase date. Purchase ID is the primary key for this table. Okay. Write an SQL query to report the IDs of the users that made any two purchases at most seven days apart. Return the table by using any ID. Okay. Let's see this table. If you see how many user IDs are there, 2, 5, 7, okay, these are 2, okay, 2 first logged on which date, March 13, after that he logged on March 20, again he logged down 06, 08, okay, let's see for the 5th one, 5th logging down, okay, I think only one day, Okay, let's take 5th as 0 to 11. Similarly, 7 logged on 2 dates. 0, 6, 19 and 0, 6, uh, again 19. Okay. If you see here, the difference between these two dates is 7. Here it is greater than 7. There is only one date here. Again, the difference between them is 0 here. So, 2 and 7 are the eligibility criteria. So how will you do is using lag function we can get the next date right partition by user id and do the lag function then for each date you will get the next corresponding date okay. Now what you need to do is the difference between the two of them should be less than or equal to 7 just we have seen here that's it. So let's write it first from purchases table. Select comma lag purchase uh, sorry pur chac purchase date over for each user ID we want. And we should be ordering by purchase date ascending. Okay, let's call it as next day. Let's see the table. Here you can see purchase date and the previous date. Nothing is there. For 2020 March 20, the previous date is what? March 13. For this July June 8th, the previous date is 320. For uh, customer number 5, there is only one column, so nothing is there. Similarly, for 7, first date, nothing is there. For second date, some date is there, right? Now, what we will do? Let's call it as something CTE. Now, from the CTE, where date if between purchase date comma 
next day should be less than or equal to 7 because 7 days should be the weekday select all let's see only two rows has matched we want only user id accepted let's submit it okay there is an error let's see what is the mistake okay if you see multiple dates can multiple users can have same different uh, dates with less than seven difference so we want only distinct let's submit it okay our solution has been accepted by the platform thanks for watching my video if you want more detailed explanations like this please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and colleagues who are preparing for a scale round um, in the coming up interview days just try practicing all the questions which are there in the platform and the solutions are also there in my channel one day you will be able to crack any SQL round thanks for watching